Winthrop Rockefeller believed that art should be accessible to everyone. That's what we're honoring here today. Being invited to the uh, Art in Its Natural State here at the, at the Institute, I can't tell you honestly how, how happy I am to be invited to it. This is the highest profile event I've, I've ever, ever been juried into. It is great because it does make um, the artworks more accessible. It's a game changer. It's, it changes how I look at my own work. Um, it changes how I look at art in Arkansas. Being the first ones brings in a certain energy because you're breaking the ground. And that's uh, very important because you're creating something for the first time that hopefully will be followed. Art in its natural state at its core is sort of a celebration of the natural beauty of Petty Jean and the drive of Southern artists to work in nature. We're really inspired by the original mission of Winthrop Rockefeller to bring uh, art to the public and to be part of the growing and emerging art scene in Arkansas is really exciting. To be selected for this by the, uh, the quality of the, the people that, that sat on the jury panel it is is very gratifying. Oftentimes, uh, artists are underappreciated, and they, uh, especially artists if they're first starting out, don't have a big reputation. And I think that they were really so impressed and so uh, appreciative of the treatment that they've had here, and the response to their work, and how special it's been for them. So, beneficial for the artists, beneficial for the community, and of course, we have loved being here. Water is needed is made out of aluminum. The five pieces that are in the crown uh, serve to buttress each other. The, the pieces uh, fairly unstable until that last piece goes in. It taught me a lesson that if we're out there all alone and we're not complete, uh, it's not gonna work. The body of the bird and the head or the shaft of, a, of a sheet metal shears, the wings of the bird, are, are plowshares known as sweeps. It's comprised of nine cloaks, which are mounted to the trees, um, which were, are really about the form and structure of the tree that you see above the ground. And then a field of forestry survey stakes that measure the, the space of the rhizosphere, which is the underground network of roots and, and microorganisms and all of the life below the ground that you can't see that supports what's above. We're so used to seeing art in settings that are not conducive to um, a, a deeper state of being or a, you know that wellness that comes with in this case, communing with nature. And we wanted to bring that aspect into our artwork. I'm really interested in movement, and I like using materials that allow for the pieces to be responsive to their environments, and so it becomes sort of a collaboration with the space that they're in. It's an abstraction of the idea of home and belonging, shelter, place where we feel at home, uh, how we recognize home, how we recognize familiar places. Governor Rockefeller, he had a love of art. He wanted to, people, he wanted specifically Arkansans to be able to connect with art. And there's no better way to connect with art than having the art created in these natural settings here um, where he would have loved to see it in his ca old cattle farm and in the property here. It's just beautiful. So um, it, it's a really special thing that they've done and I, I, I know they're going to continue it year after year and I'm excited for that. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. You're getting nature and you're getting art all in one. I was glad to see there's different thing to do, different thing to look at it. Love the music here and there. Get to try the violin for the first time. It's just wonderful. It is the start of something big and I can't believe we haven't done it before now. Mm -hmm.